We have an exciting upcoming event, the solar eclipse, and it's a really exciting event because it doesn't happen too often, but it does offer some powerful spiritual um, opportunities for growth and really perspective shifts as to what's really happening here on the planet. I'm going to dive into that in this video and talk about what you can expect and how you can prepare for it and the amazing growth that you can experience shortly after. So this is an interesting phenomenon because um, just scientifically how it happens, right? So we've got the sun, which is 400 times farther away from the earth than the moon, and the sun happens to be 400 times larger than the moon. So from our perspective here on earth, it appears that though when we're looking up at the sky, that the sun and the moon are the same size. So when the sun navigates along its path in the moon and they kind of cross, right, you get the solar eclipse and that's what's going to happen and by the way is it coincidence that the sun and the moon are the same relative size well you tell me in the comments okay because i know that there's some divine orchestration behind that whole thing right so from the human perspective here anchored on earth they're going to appear to be the same size and the moon is going to block out the rays of the sun it's going to look like it fully fills the space of the sun. Again, they're the same size. So if you can imagine way back in history, how much fear and panic that an event like that would have brought forward, right? So, but here we are now in the 21st century. Many of you are going through this ascension process. You've been in the darkness many times. So you're here to just kind of observe this amazing phenomenon, that this phenomenon has been placed here by you right? So it's a reminder of something. What is it a reminder of? We know everything in our reality is a reflection of what's going on in here. So along my path, I know I've had many, many days where I felt like the light was absent. The light was just gone. I felt like crap. I felt really stressed. I had a lot of anxiety and I felt that the light would never return. And sure enough, the light returned, right? But when you're in the midst of that darkness, it gives you a tremendous opportunity to feel everything that's kind of been under all of the distraction of that light. So in the absence of light, you're left with these darkness, the dark shadows, right? Everything that was hidden by the light. So it's an amazing opportunity for you to experience or feel that. Now, a lot of our ancestral and generational fears regarding these types of celestial events and a solar eclipse are going to come forward. You may feel that during the eclipse. Even if you're not in an area of totality, meaning that you're not in a place where the moon is going to completely eclipse the sun, you're still going to experience that because you're going to be experiencing or tapped into the collective consciousness, right? This event is a reminder that the light can appear to be extinguished from our perspective here on Earth. The solar eclipse is only available to those who are standing on the planet. If you were on the moon, you wouldn't experience it, right? But from your perspective as a human, it's going to appear as though the light is extinguished. Now, if you didn't know that light was going to return, that's going to bring up a lot of fear. And that's exactly how you might have felt going through a dark night of the soul. You get into that depression and you feel like that light is not going to return. Way, way back, they used to talk about how mystical powers and things would vanish during a solar eclipse. So a lot of that may be coming back up. You may experience like you're really disconnected. Again, that goes back to the subconscious beliefs in the absence of the light. But you know that this light, the absence of light is only temporary and that the light is going ret to return. So we look at the solar eclipse and we realize that that this is a reminder on a spiritual level that no matter how bad or how dark things get or the reality gets, the light is going to return. So when you are experiencing this around the 8th, maybe the 7th and the 9th, right, because this energy is still available to us, really focus on what has been holding you back, right? We can look at this period, this eclipse, this event, as a time for new beginnings. So you look at what's been holding you back, what beliefs have been anchoring you into the darkness. You wanna to start to be able to get in and feel those 
experience those and know that the light is going to come in and try to move through, wants to really move into that space that this darkness has been taking up within your body. So feel all of this energy, this density, these traumas, this ancestral stuff that could be rising up during this eclipse and allow yourself to be present with it and breathe with it and be present in the darkness. Even if you're not in the path of totality, you're going to feel it on an empathic level. Okay, it's happening collectively, okay? So all of this generational stuff's coming back up. Again, these, these celestial bodies, they were all created and moved into position to be able to offer up these experiences. And again, these experiences are reminders, the reflections of what's happening within here. So we're in, seem to be in a big period of darkness right now collectively, right? So the eclipse is really a reminder that the light will return. So it's important to focus on that fact that all is not lost. If we could sit, if we could gather ourselves, gather our energies, stay anchored in our body and just breathe and calm our nervous system down, that sure enough, the light will return. It's just a matter of time. Now, as you do this work leading up to the eclipse and after the eclipse, you're going to be creating so much space within your body, clearing so much ancestral stuff that you are going to emerge from this period being more sensitive, maybe heightened psychic abilities, maybe heightened intuition. Many of you are going to receive downloads during the eclipse. Our star guides, our galactic guides are going to be present in the sky. It's important to note not to look at the sun during the eclipse. There are special glasses you could use for that. But you're going to feel your the galactic presence, your guides, throughout this time. Again, the light that cloaks all of this activity, because when the light is so bright, we're so, there's so much we could see, we're so distracted from the subtleties, as the light vanishes during the time of the eclipse, and again, you don't have to be in a space of totality, you're going to be tapped in collectively to this energy. You're going to be able to start to perceive or feel your galactic guides present in the sky around you. Okay, It's almost like the veil that was cloaked is going to start to bleed through a little bit. And the, the gravitational effects of the portal from the sun and the singularity in the moon and the earth are going to be in alignment. There's going to be weird gravitational effects. You may feel a little lightheaded. You may feel a little vertigo. You may feel a little dizzy. It's important to breathe in, anchor it in, ground, and stay hydrated. Very, very important during this time. So basically, to recap, this is going to be an amazing opportunity to clear a lot of ancestral trauma, to be able to reinforce the knowing that no matter how dark things look, the light is going to return. And it's going to be a great opportunity to just feel a lot of that density, the shadows as they come up during this period, during this event, create a ton more space within your body. And when that light returns, you're going to be ready to just ground, anchor, and integrate all of that. All that light that's coming is you. It holds to the keys to everything that you've been seeking and searching for. It's going to be all available to you. If this video resonated, please like, subscribe, share it, and watch this one next. Thank you.